Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with two first looks. Yes, you have a Honda NU50 and a KE100. So um, this bike right here belongs to Matt, a fellow subscriber. Dropped it off to me for some more work. And uh, well, it's missing and a lot of things are incorrect on this bike. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off this bike but I'm really not going to talk about the bike. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. And I'm going to see how many of you guys can see what I see. Alright. So what I'd like for you guys to do as a, as a fun exercise. Is to comment down below of all the things that you see are incorrect. So I'm just going to walk over the bike. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this a little fun. So we're going to start over here. Now there is, um, there is a lot of cool stuff on this bike. This is a great bike. And there is a lot of stuff that is wrong with it. And um, I'll see if you guys can pick out any of the stuff that is incorrect and wrong. And just take your time, look over it, and you guys can do your best and see what you guys see. Just kind of take a look at it and see what you guys see that's wrong with the bike. And then uh, comment down below and we will uh, go through this bike. It's a cool bike. It's uh, It's got um, 5,383 miles. So for you guys who don't think you can get a lot of mileage out of these bikes, you can. And this bike actually runs. So that's half the problem, you know, taken care of. So this is really not a, uh, it's a great bike. And now we're going to go talk about this bike. So same person, this right here was missing um, the headlight assembly. He had an LED headlight in there I took out. It's not an LED headlight, it's just a, uh, a projector light. Um, you can see it's got the directionals around there. Some of them are a bit bent, you know, um, what do you call it? One of the cables are seized up. The auto choke has been disconnected. The auto lube system, he's got pre-mix in the tank. And there is a hose here, which is a little concerning. And um, but we'll figure out where that goes. So we're going to take all that apart and basically give this thing a thorough cleaning. It's got oil all over everything. Typical Honda two-stroke, but the oiler is hooked up, and I don't know if it works. But we're going to have to pull that all apart. This is the battery box. So this is the Urban Express. There is no pedals on this one. You don't have to pedal to start this one. It literally takes off like a um, like a moped without pedaling. So, pretty cool. It's around two horse. Tank is super clean. It doesn't look like it from the uh, cap, but the tank is super clean. Side deal, which is really, really a nice bonus to have. And the seat's in good shape. And pop this up. And you can see it's got the... Uh, the owner's manual right here and the old registration and paperwork for it. Let me go get that cover real quick. Seat's in awesome shape. Um, the back brake cable is seized up, which is right here. It doesn't, doesn't move. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, and basically just go through this whole entire bike and see what it actually needs. Uh, air filter box is in there, which is awesome. Um, there are no broken, stud, uh, no broken uh, fins on the cylinder head. And... Uh, Does run. We got to do some adjustments to it, but uh, other than that, it's in, in really good shape. Curling like a Honda. Not bad, huh, guys? So this is super cool. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. So this right here is uh, it's new home. So pretty cool and to get this we got to work on this so we have a ton of parts and pieces for this but i want you guys to comment below and tell me what you guys see and we're actually going to be discussing this bike um this week on two stroke tuesday or wheelie wednesday my really short today we're going to be doing that on and uh we're going to be talking a little bit about this 
so what are my plans uh this week well my son actually goes back to school this week so popping out videos is gonna be a lot easier so let's go talk about what we're doing this week so what we're working on tomorrow night is we want to get this bike off the off the bench because we have dave's and robert's bike that we're going to be working on Dave's bike's not coming on here first. Only reason why is because we're doing his engine in the shed. So we're going to be working on his engine. Some parts have been coming in. We've been getting some parts in, which is super cool. Not this week on Two Stroke Tuesday, but the following week because I'm still trying to figure out. We're going to be doing this bike right here on, on live chat. So this right here is our fellow subscribers. We're going to be getting into this motor right here, tearing it all down. It's got a new clutch, but the, some parts came in for that. So I'll show you what came in for that. This. Um, I was asked to uh, replace all the screws with the Allen head kit. So there's directions in here of what goes what. So we're going to be doing this whole thing. I'm talking seals, um, going right through it, checking it all out, pressure testing it. Um, we are literally going to do everything. And we're going to take this engine when it's all done. After it's all built, we're going to put that on the stand, which is right here. And we're going to test run the engine. So that's pretty super cool. So back on Alvin's bike. So tomorrow night, what we're going to do is we're going to install the carburetor, get that on, get that all connected. Um, we're going to check. So after we get the carburetor mounted, everything's back on, the fuel lines ran, and everything's happy. We're going to go and check it, and I'm going to show you guys how to set the um, relationship. Remember how the carburetor is married with the automatic oil? I'm going to show you guys how to set that up on a KE125. Carburetor mounts here. We'll get that all buttoned up. And then under here, right here, is where the uh, automatic oiler is. We're going to prime that up, get that all set, and fix this. So um, tomorrow night, what I would like to do is get this bike engine-wise wrapped up. And we get the uh, fuel tank on it. So it's probably going to be a, a longer, a longer-winded video. Change out that ground. We have the ground wire for that. Uh, this ground wire here is broke. And I have right here... A good one out, a factory with the factory connected to the ground end. So we're going to hook that up for the battery. And then we got to fix that red wire right there. Black, the white wire with the red stripe. That's the positive. We're going to solder the end on that. So that's all set. And then put his battery back in, charge it up. And uh, the spike will be all set. We got the rubbers installed. And we got to fix the uh, directionals, which are right here. These are what the original ones look like. That is a factory bend. That's how this is supposed to be. And uh, they sit up like that. And the reason why they like that, you can see right here, there's a key to hold them up, um, is because they'd be if you had them straight out, they would be hitting the exhaust on the other side. So it is actually moved up. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. So we are on our home stretch with this. So we're going to be working on this thing tomorrow night. Then we're going to take it from here off the lift and get. Robert's bike up in here because we have a massive amount of parts that came in for that thing and I cannot wait to put that together That's a DT 400. We'll be working on Dave's motor on the bench So there's going to be a flood of videos coming through and then um, on two-stroke Tuesday Not this one because I'm still trying to figure out the um, Electronics part of it of how I could do the video, but we're gonna be doing live chats on doing this KE Right in front of you guys, get to ask questions and all that type of stuff. So that's the direction we're heading in um, right now coming forward because we have a, um, we're getting up this. We got to get a lot of bikes done kind of quickly because we have a lot of projects coming. And um, yeah, if we don't get going, we're going to be in trouble. So, and uh, we got to flip around the other side, get the brakes hooked up and all that. Take this, this bad boy for a ride. But you can see right here how it comes, it would be like right above it. It would be rattling. So we're going to. Put the proper ones on there where they go up. This bike is pretty much on the uh, on its way to um, awesomeness yet again. So super excited. So and that's pretty much it for that. So we have everything we need. So once again, guys, check this video and tell me all the little things that you see. Now, as you guys know, I go from tire to tire, peg to peg, ground to the top of the mirror. Okay. And you can see how there is, there's a lot of things that are not quite right with it. But I want you guys to point out as many as you can see. And I don't care if you guys repeat. Just put it down in the comments. Because I want to see what you guys see. I want to see if you guys notice all the little things that are wrong on this bike. 
and there are a lot of little things wrong with this bike but they are all stuff that we can easily fix and that's what we're going to do um and matt you get yourself a really nice bike this is going to come out great i'm looking really forward to watch to doing it and having you guys watch the videos and tell me what you guys think and all that type of stuff so anyway guys there it is for you guys right there it's a short video today um but i wanted to get this out there so you guys can see and i want you guys to, i want you guys to point out as many things as you can is, is wrong with this bike um all the little flaws that's what i'm looking for is flaws okay i'm not talking about stuff that can't be done like this right here i'm talking about actual problems with the bike so definitely definitely do that for me and i want to see how how good i've been training you guys all right so anyway, guys, I want to say happy Easter. Thank you for watching, and uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm out.